What's up, YouTube family? Welcome to another episode of Life with Jenna CG. We missed you guys. We've been away, and Jenna's going to tell you why. But before you do anything, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And last but not least, make sure you turn on those notifications to stay updated on all things Life with Jenna CG. Thank you so much to our supporters. We value you. We respect you. All the lovers, all the haters. Babe, how you feeling this morning? You good? I feel great. I just want to apologize because we haven't posted in a while and life has been pretty crazy for us. We actually were apart for a week, 10 days. Yeah. Yeah. Like eight days. Which was a first. So, I mean, I guess I could have recorded, but just life has been nuts with this wedding. I am finalizing the finishing touches on my movie which is no excuse. So I just want to apologize to you guys, but we're back. And we and Rovi's say, back too. Y'all see him? He's running, he's he's, running he'll, around. He'll make an appearance. Doing his thing. <laughs> but we're back and we are going to try our best to be more consistent and get you guys some content because we know you're like, where are you guys at? We miss you. So we miss you too. And today we are talking about something that we've never talked about. And it is, dun, 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 dun. we're talking about our deal breakers. In a relationship, what are our deal breakers? In relationships, whether you're a girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, husband, wife, we're going to talk deal breakers. We're going to talk about our deal breakers. I don't know what yours are. I've heard some crazy deal breakers and I've heard some people <laughs> not state things that should be deal breakers, but... Like I said, everyone's relationship yeah, is for them. What is, what's for you is for you. And you know, we're talking we're just, about ours. Like talk what, about what, ours what and, I can't deal with, what he can't deal with. No, nah, so. I don't I don't need you taking this and watching this and going to your husband like, oh, Jen said if you don't do this, then we're come on. Like, yeah, but in the comments, let us know like what your deal breakers are. We would love to hear from you guys and we love to interact with, you know, our subscribers. So let us know, but baby, you want to just like jump into it? And she said, let's go in hot. Um, I'm going to let you start with the first. The, so y'all, just so you guys know. Oh, here's Rovi. Say okay. what's up, Rovi. He's y'all always up. asking for the dog. Y'all don't really care about us. So here, <laughs> here he is. Rovi, Rovi. And when I tell y'all, this is probably the most hard headed 10 month old dog I've oh, ever, so ever experience he's a but he's a, he's amazing we love we love him he's a great addition to the unit so but um so back back to regular schedule program we're going to go top to the least like um well i could probably deal with that right but top is like all right that is a no that's a no no all right okay so, they get it okay jen's so going to start and my top deal breaker is cheating i knew it i knew it why? That's, I mean, but it is like if you cheat and first of all, there are various ways of cheating. What is the worst form of cheating to you? <sighs> That's yes, tough. because everyone wants to go physical. Everyone wants to say, oh, it's physical. But what leads to physical? Emotional. Yes. It, and it, what, it, but what leads to emotional? See, you know what you see with now we're going, we going layers. We're going layers. It's I, even entertaining. Like the thought of it. So time. Yeah. Giving someone time creates the emotion. You can't, someone, someone can't develop the emotional side until you give them time. But what is your worst, like, what is a, we know cheating is the deal breaker, right? But if you had to choose, let's say, and this is crazy when I'm saying this, but if you had to choose, well, would I rather it be physical or giving this person time? Which one would you choose? That's tough, but I would say time. I would say time. That's ugly. Time is like, wow, you literally put us on the back burner to put your time into this? Because time is like a lot of things. Time is like, you know, you're taking time out of your day. You're entertaining like conversations. With that, it becomes... When you have an emotional attachment to people, 
it's different. I mean, physical is bad. Like that, yeah. I don't Physical's, because you know why, you know why I think physical is bad because it's like you have this, um, you don't even know what the person that your mate cheated on you looks like. Maybe some of you do. But it's like you have this, um, you have this, this picture in your head of your, of your partner having sexual intercourse with this person. Like being physical and intimate with this person, so it's what, it if, you, you. what if you walk in on them? Ooh, woo. Ooh. Walking in, just bury me alive. Oh, yeah, God. I had a, I got a story about that. I was talking to this guy, and he walked in on his wife, and he oh killed. My. He he killed. He killed the guy. What? No, this is this is a true story. What the hell? He, this is when I was in prison doing time, and when I was I was um. I was on detail in death row and I, I heard the craziest stories. And this guy, Patrick Mayfair, never forget, you can look him up online. This dude in the state of Georgia, this dude walked in on his wife, right? And I think, I thought I told you this. He walked in on his wife, killed the guy first, shot the woman, turned the shotgun on, on himself and blew, his, blew half of his face off. They reconstructed his face and put him on death row. Ooh. So he's like, all of us gotta go. Well, I don't, see, I don't think I would go to that extreme. And then another thing, right? If you walk in on your mate, who are you going after first? Are you going after the woman or the man? <laughs> or are you like going after question. your... Because it's like, yo, well, I wouldn't go after the person that I'm being cheated on with. I'm going after my, like, my partner. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, because here's the thing. The person that they're cheating with might not even know you exist. That's very true. Because people do have uh, double, triple lives. Yeah, so you ever you, know you ever I mean? you ever been like, caught up in a double triple life? No, hell no. Listen, I got one life to live. I'm not trying no, I'm to saying like on the other side of it, like on the on the victim side of it. Oh, I mean, yeah. Not that you know about. I'm sure I've been with some men that live like <laughs> freaking quadruple li lives. I don't know. Yeah, I just think it takes too much time, too much energy, and yeah, I, I, I can speak as a I can speak just now a now fiance, soon to be husband. I have too much to lose. Like I have, you know, a, a big business. I have, you know, I, there's a lot of people looking up to me. There's, and honestly, since Jennifer has been in my life, my life has elevated, right? So it's like, I came into this thing successful and then it's elevated more because of me having a woman by my side and we can elevate together. So it's like a no brainer. It's like, why would you, and we're going to get to the next thing, but why would you risk it all for a nut? It, it, it's, 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 it's crazy. Now, let's talk about the other side of it, because you cheating, you kind of have to expound on it, right? What if you're not getting at home? And we've actually talked to a couple of our friends about this real life situation. What if your partner desires something at home, whether it be cooking or you cleaning or you having sex with them or you're not showing appreciation and they go out and seek it elsewhere? I mean, is that a well, I think and the conversation has already been had. Well, here's the thing. Yes, you have to have a conversation, but you also have to understand that people don't change overnight. So if you're like, oh, you know, you should cook more. I'm not really, people know, you know, like I'm, I don't, I can cook, but that's not, I don't like really enjoy being in the kitchen. So it's not like I'm going to wake up tomorrow and be like, oh babe, I'm going to cook every day this week. So I think that's fine to have a conversation, but you also have to be reasonable and understand that people are not going to change overnight. Now, if you see no form of improvement, that's something different, but I don't think just because you don't see it right away, you should go, oh, I'm gonna go entertain this person. No. Well, no, a lot of, and I'm speaking on, I'm, I'm speaking on people I hear talk about these situations. Most of them are married people. Like they've been together five, some 10 years. And it's like, you know, things have, even, even women that uh, give birth, it's like, once they go through the postpartum stage, they're not having sex and they're not, like men want sex. Like, let's, let's keep it above. <laughs> And honestly, women do too. So, like, we we're human beings, and we're here. Listen to procreate. But I feel like whatever. you can. I feel like you can work that out. But, babe, like, let's not dwell on this. Like, these are deal breakers. Like, we get it. Yeah, but so, the people want to hear this, babe. Like, the people want to hear this. This, this, this is this is what they want to hear. This is because a lot of people are dealing with this right now. 
So that's the reason why I went into what if you're not, what if it's not happening and it's been five years? No, now that's you No, think. I'm not talking about, oh, if you talked about it last night and it's not happening the following three, four weeks. I'm talking about no. these are couples that have, they cheat because it's been. Well, then, three. If, I mean, I don't know. Well, like, we, did we, they get we, a hall pass because, <laughs> you know, they talked about it? All right, let's go into my deal breaker. Number yeah. one. Oh, what's your number one? My number one is integrity. Because cheating is big. And I don't condone it, and I, then neither do I do it. If I'm going to do it, I'm just going to do it. But I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to communicate that with my partner. Integrity for me, because lack of integrity, honestly, boil. I mean, it, it kind of, you know, foils into honesty. It foils into you being faithful, um, who you are as a person, with or without your partner looking. So are you the same person that you are when your partner's around? And are you that same person when your partner's not in the room? Are you speaking hot, uh, Are you speaking ill will on your partner? Are you gossiping about, about your partner, right? So like integrity for me is just really holding, like when I walk in rooms, I hold Jennifer, and even when she's not there, I hold her to a high standard. How's Jennifer doing? Oh, she's amazing. Like she's, she, she, like she's working on so much. She motivates me. It's not a thing of like an ill will thing, right? So. You know, integrity is big, and I feel like once you lose, once you lose that as a person, especially in a relationship or a marriage. I mean, I think that's good. I agree. I agree. I, I think you know. I always say that you are an extension of your partner, so your partner represents you, and and vice versa. So when you walk out the house, you're representing yourself and your partner, like as a couple. Yeah. So, like, don't do any dumb shit when they're not around. I, I mean, I agree. That's that's a that's a good one. I, I, I just think in life, man. I, I, I think in life, uh, you got to be integral. With it's everything. like how you how you conduct yourself, like, should always represent integrity. So, I mean, I definitely agree with that. So, one of my deal breakers, and this is pretty high on my list is um is just being complacent i cannot be with somebody that is complacent if you are not motivated yourself if you can't motivate me if you're not inspiring to me because my life is very much i have a lot going on i'm always like dealing with like something business or like I'm doing a movie, whatever. Like I have things going on, so I can't be with somebody that is just complacent where they are in life. It's like if they live that way the rest of their life, they're good. For me, that doesn't work. Like I really need somebody that is, you know, inspiring and motivates me. Like, yeah, babe, go out there and get it, do better. And I want to do the same for my partner. You know, like I can open the door. I can't walk through it for you. So if you are complacent, that's a deal breaker for me. I think you had a partner that was complacent. Yeah, and it was like, clearly they ain't around. It's, it's a deal breaker. Like, I yeah. can't, I can't, that does not work for me. And I don't know, like, it's just like, you have to have this je ne sais quoi. And like, if you don't have it, I, I can't. <laughs> You know, like, cause I just, like, I'm, I'm gonna look at you and just be disgusted. Like, so you just didn't think to, you know what I mean? Like, so you're cool with just doing this the rest of your, like, I can't, I can't cool, even. Yeah, it, it basically like, you're cool with being comfortable. Yes. And it's, it's like, oh yeah, you know, just the bare minimum, I'm good. No, and you, listen, you can't grow unless you stretch. Right. So it, it, and, and that can apply to a lot of things. But like in life, I feel like it is about evolving and I cannot be with somebody that's complacent. That's a deal breaker for me. That's big. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think. Um, let's go. Number two, let's go physical. <laughs> Because integrity covers so much. It's like, honesty, are you faithful? Whatever. Well, like, can you be a fat girl? Well, if 
That's not a, <laughs> that, this, this, <laughs> she, since she brought it up, if you were small and got fat, like, I wouldn't leave you because you got fat. Like, I think that's nuts. <laughs> now, if you don't work on yourself, like, if you got fat and it's just like a thing of, oh, I just don't care You're anymore. complacent because you wanna, got fat. I'll just be sloppy. It is because, and then the thing is, a lot of people get into relationships and they get comfortable they're just like, oh yeah, I got this person. Not, that's not true. Like everything I did to win Jennifer over, I still do it. But um, yeah, since she brought up the fat thing, that's actually what, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I, the teeth and the feet for me on a woman, and I talk to Jen about this all the time. Um, I do not have a foot fetish, but I do love Jen's feet. Feet and, 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 and teeth. Um, and I think y'all going to really love my third one. I'll get into my third one after she does her next one. But teeth, feet, that's a big one. I don't think I saw Jen's feet on our first interaction because she had boots on. I actually remember what yeah, she had Yeah, it was on. in December, so I'm not like, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but I did end up seeing them early, early on. And um, I don't think she saw me looking, but I was like, okay, let me see. Let me check, <laughs> check the pinky toe. Let me check the... Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> But yeah, and then of course y'all see she has a beautiful smile. So, you know, you wanna at the end of the day, it's not all it's not about looks, but you know, you want your partner to keep themselves up. So Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. Um so for me, a deal breaker too is I don't like people that smoke. Like I, I don't mind people smoking, but I wouldn't want my partner to smoke because one, I feel like cigarette smoke, it, it lingers and it's like speaking of teeth, it messes up your teeth. Like the nicotine. Yeah. It's like a lot. So the smoking is like, mm -mm, for me. I think if I lived in Paris, I probably would. Well, because they make that the, shit like, yo, we were in Paris. It's, it's like a luxury over there. It's, it's like it's cool. Like it's not even that. Like it's crazy. It's like, yo, sure. they got the they got their drip on. It's like, damn, this shit. Like, I wouldn't probably wouldn't do it because that's just nasty. But it's like, damn, it's I, it, they make it look cool. Here in the U.S., it's kind of like, oh, you smoke, but yeah, I mean, I can see why because you know, the and smell like gets your clothes. Cancer yeah. is like linked to smoking. Well, cancer is you know, linked to anything, baby. True, but yeah. you know, I'm I'm very sensitive to cancer. I just the smoking thing doesn't really work for me. Like, I'm not. Yeah, I don't really. I, I'm I'm not really big on like the hookah and all of that stuff. So, but the cigarettes out. That is like I would be like, oh, God, no. Yeah, that's a big one. You ready for my third one? My yeah. fourth one. Third. That's my, that's my third coming out. Well, whatever. It doesn't, All right. it doesn't matter. What's the next a, one? A very big deal breaker for me, which is the reason why I'm mentioning it now. And I don't even think like, number two is really number two. I'm just kind of over the place. But I love Jen so much because I'm a rebel and I don't listen and I don't conform and I don't like rules. I don't like um, the laws. I don't like none. Of, not, I don't go out here and, and break. And then you wonder why a dog is crazy. I don't go out here and break the law. Like I'm not out here saying go break the law. Don't do that. Right. But I don't conform to society. Honestly, a lot of my success today, I owe it to not really conforming to society and what society thinks is right and traditional and being spontaneous. Like I love when a woman or my partner can just say, you know what, babe, let's just do it. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Right. And Jen, Jen is very structured. She's a Virgo. So if, if this, if, if this is one o'clock on Jen's calendar, Jen is going to be there at 1250 or it's I'm going to super punctual. So, yes. but she also has that side, which I love. And it really gels well with how my life goes. Um, I'm a big fan of, you know, you make plans, God laughs at it. So, you know, I understand punctuality is, it's, it's huge. Be punctual, be on time. But there's been times where I'm like, babe, let's go. Let's go. Let's pack our bags. Let's go. I'm not really into the thing of like, oh my God, I'm a, like, it's, it's just like, let's, like you get one of these, li like you get a life one time. Live it. Live it. Live it. Yeah. So I, I, that's a deal breaker for me. 
And it's not that I'm trying so to change the, my the partner. So what's the deal breaker is if you're not spontaneous? I can't. I can't because it. It. We. We just. We won't. I don't think we would make it. I think me being super spontaneous and a person being just uh just winging it, not winging it. Sorry, just kind of being complacent, being comfortable, just like oh we can just stay whatever. I just can't deal with that. It's yeah. That's, that's a big one. And Jen knows how spontaneous I am. Yeah, you're, t yeah. I just go. So my next deal breaker. Yo, say it. No, I mean, I, I'm going to say it. I just don't want people to think I'm shallow, but this is, this is my reality. My deal breaker is you cannot be broke. I'm sorry. Like broke and me don't work. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> like you cannot be broke. And, and that goes along with being complacent, right? Because if you're broke, that means your ass is complacent because you're comfortable where you are. Like, I just feel like there's in, in, in this lifetime, in, in this world that we live in, it's no excuse because there's so many things that you could do to make money, right? You could drive an Uber, you know? Yo, there's an app where you can walk. What? Yeah, you can walk for money. Who was paying you? The app. Now that's crazy. But here's the thing: you <laughs> could, you could, um, you could drive for Uber. You could do, you could do Postmates. There's so many like um, things you could do online to make money. It's just like to me, that's no excuse. I can't do broke. I'm allergic to it. I can't. I actually asked Jen if I could go get a job, and she told me no. And I'm like, damn, why? What do you need? A, you have a job. I don't have a job. I have a, I have a company. Um, right, but that's your. Yeah, that's, that's no, that's that's not a job. It's that's a, your it's, career. It's actually not a career either. It's a hobby. Um, but that's how you. But make I want But I want another. Actually, it's actually not. That's not how I make money. Um, Babe, you don't skill, make money I, off of your company. Yes, I'm, you do. No, I don't. I do, but I make money off of, off of a skill that took a lot of time. Right. Um, but I actually. I was asking Jen, I was like, yo, I think I want to like kind of be around people more and maybe like bartend, you know, just to kind of, oh, I can't not even for the money, just like for the experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, and she was just like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> but I was actually being dead serious. So what, you, you, that means you have to go to bartends? I would like, no, 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 no. That's like traditional. That's like having a resume. No one needs a resume. You don't even need a, you don't even need a, a bachelor's degree to get jobs anymore. Because jobs are being replaced. Like, it's crazy. But I'm like, I could bartend at, like, a, a nice hotel, do, like, two nights a week. You, first of all, you're, you're, you're so contradicting yourself. You just say, oh, I'm a rebel. I don't like to follow rules. I don't know that. that Hence, you can't work for anybody. Hello? No, 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 no. I never said I couldn't work for anybody. You wouldn't even, like, you would be like, oh, I'm supposed to work today at, at 2 o'clock. Yeah, I think maybe I'll go at 5. Like, no. No, I said two days a week. Basically, I would create... I'm like, yo, this, this is when I can work. I'll do four to five hours. Like, there's people that do that. It's just something to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, my deal breaker is being broke. Like, it just, it doesn't work for me. If you're broke, like, I can't even entertain it. As a partner, you know, I can't. Another thing I respect about Jen, too, I, because I've been, you know, like, you people get and, and look at, that's why a, a lot of podcasts, I just can't get with it because people just get on there and start yapping, Right. Um, and they talk about the whole 50, 50, like, I don't believe in no 50, 50, no 80, 20. It's just like, yo, like you, you, you and your partner have to bounce off one another. No, no woman wants a broke man. And, a, and really no man wants a broke woman. You know what I'm saying? Like it goes both ways. So it's, it's like, listen, you have your own purpose. I have my own purpose. We come together and we amplify it on a different level. Right. So, I mean, I second that, too. Uh, I think I, I don't really I wouldn't. Uh, it wasn't in my list, but it, it's, it's definitely something that's just like, all right. No, like that's just that's crazy. So, yeah, um, no. yeah. And I've also dealt with spoiled brats in my life, too. So, like, I, but that was like young me. You know what I'm saying? I was in my 20s, you know. Dealing with women. Well, I mean, I'm a little, I'm a, I am spoiled. No, 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 no. I'm talking about spoiled brats where their parents took care of them. Oh, yeah, no. You got to understand, in my 20s, 
this is they, you know what I'm saying? The parents still taking care of. And I understand, listen, I'm a parent. I want my kids to not, they're not going to want for anything anyway. So listen, there are going to be the, the kids where they're like, oh yeah, my dad has it. They're doing good. They get it, whatever. But um, at the end of the day, it has to be some type of independence. So yeah, yeah. broke, not, not, a, not a thing. Um, I think I'll give one last one and then we can kind of, well, maybe pick up. I mean, you guys put in the comments if you want some more deal breakers, but I think probably my last one for the day <sighs> Make it good. Yeah. Mm. Nah. Just say it. You say no, it. no, no. I want to, because I, 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 I got six in my head, like five or six in my head, but I want to. Um, I think probably common sense. Common sense. And this don't apply to my relationship. This applies to people. I actually, I, I got a shirt that says it, like common sense is not so common. And like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like rhetorical questions, common sense. Like, you know this, this is what it is. Why are you asking? Or what, like, I think common sense is, 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 it's a lack of that. And I think COVID messed it up. I think people have COVID brain. That's what I call it. So, yeah. The judgment is cloudy. So No, no, no. no. Common, common sense, sense is huge. Yeah. Like, I mean, come on. You know this. Like, but but I, I say this about my dad a lot, right? Like, my dad is super intelligent. I always say, like, he could build a bomb to blow up probably all of L.A. before he can have, like, sit down and have an emotional conversation with me because I feel like he definitely lacks some form of common sense. And that's, like, a real thing. Like, people that are super, super intelligent or um, they're very talented, something I feel like is normally overcompensated for. So um, I, 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 deal with, I deal with that a lot with my dad, hence I just can't even, like I just don't have the patience. So, I mean, I get that. That's, that's, that's it. I mean, I have more, but we'll, that, that's like another, you know, that, that's a freaking two hour video. Right? Oh God, well, we don't have that long. Maybe today. I'll do one. I'll do one by myself. I'll name it Christian's Deal Breakers. Well, that's what I'll do. Drop in the comments if you want Christian's Deal Breakers. Also, I'm going to bring my skincare to you guys because you guys keep asking about it. Oh yeah, we'll do like a- They want we'll the skincare. A, yeah, we'll do a skincare. And honestly, it's just drinking water and staying out of people's business. I think you get pimples when you uh, talk, talk too much shit. So maybe if you stay out the comments, well. stay, you know. <laughs> Maybe if you stop hating so much, you just, you, you have clear skin. So that's our deal breakers. And I would love to hear from you guys. Like, let me know what your deal breakers are. Like, put it in the comments. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. We thank you for tuning in to another episode. And we will see you next time. Ciao, ciao. Love.